Hello everyone, uh, this is the short video regarding the working principle of Gigabit Passive Optical Network Technology. We are having one uh, link from the ISP which is connected to the pod. The point of distribution uh, may contain multiple uh, routers, switches, OLTs, um, backups and so on. So the link from the ISP is connected to the ISP switch. This ISP switch can be in the switch from any vendor as per your requirement. Uh, the link from the ISP switch is now again connected to the Zipon OLT. Here we have used the Ethernet link to connect between the to maintain the connection between the ISP switch and the Zipon OLT. The Zipon OLT consists of uh, multiple uh, active and passive ports. Uh, usually, the active ports are used for the upstream purposes. Uh, so, each pawn ports of the Zipon OLT are now connected to the one is to eight splitter. Uh, each output of the 1 is to 8 splitter is now again connected to another 1 is to 8 splitter. So each pawn port will be having uh, minimum of uh, 64 subscriber ins and each subscriber ins will be connected to the FTTS ONU. Here FTTS ONU will be responsible for delivering the internet to the end devices. So this Zipon technology uh, is uh, responsible for delivering 2.488 Gbps of downstream wavelength downstream uh, using the wavelength of 4090 nm and 1.244 Gbps of stream using the wavelength of 1310 nm uh, wavelength uh, since it uses the wavelength division multiplexing uh, single fiber can be used for both upstream and downstream purpose and if you are using uh, tp ser services uh, wavelength of 1550 nm can be used uh, so this is a short description uh, about the working principle of Zipon technology.